A number of schools, of course, were destroyed in last week's tornado outbreak, including Donaldson Christian Academy. Teachers lost just about everything in their classrooms. But as News Channel 5's Eric Hilt shows us, now they're getting help from all around the world. Outside Donaldson Christian Academy. It's so hard to put into words what it what it looks like. Handwritten homework sits buried under piles of rubble. It doesn't even look like a school. After last week's deadly EF3 tornado hit the school, teachers like Laura Town. They've got storage drawers. Have pulled what they could out of the debris. When you see these kids items and you just know that. I don't know, it's just hard to put into words. But now the first grade teacher is pulling supplies. Caddies for crayons and pencil storage caddies. Out of boxes. Just different things that we'll need whenever we get with our kiddos again. Shortly after the storm, the school created an Amazon car, wish list. This is like the third or fourth load. Trying to replace some of the supplies that were lost in the tornado. Soon, the donations came pouring in. It's been humbling. Administrators estimate so far the schools received more than $100,000 worth of donations. At one point, the pile of packages filled this room at a nearby church. The parking lot was full, the rooms, they were overflowing. But teachers say even more touching than the outpouring of donations. Hi DCA, you'll get through this. Are the notes. You're in our thoughts and prayers, much love. That came with them. Thinking of you and the kiddos as you rebuild. It's overwhelming. It's so overwhelming when you sit there and think about just everyone that's reached out. That's when you realize the love and support that you have when you look at all of these. Support that sends a message of hope. This one says, stay strong. Our hearts go out to you and your kids. In Donaldson, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5. Donaldson Christian Academy was scheduled to go back to class at different buildings near the campus next week. Well, they are postponing that start date because of concerns about coronavirus.